Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to import data from Excel into R. The steps outlined in this video should work with most other spreadsheet applications, but since Excel is fairly commonly used, we'll focus our discussion on this. Our two main options will be to save the data file as a comma separated value or .csv file, or as a tab delimited text file with the .txt extension. Saving it as a CSV file is probably easier and the better way to go. Let's go ahead and save this file on the desktop as a CSV file. To do so, under the file menu, we can go to save as, we're gonna save it on our desktop, and we can save this as a comma separated value or CSV file. I'm also gonna add the CSV to the end of the file name just so it's easily identifiable. We can see the Excel data CSV file saved here on the desktop. You'll notice if we double click on this file to open it, by default, it will open in Excel. Let's go ahead and close this. You'll notice if we right click on this file, we can open with and open it in any text editor that we like. This here is what the CSV file looks like in a text editor. Okay, so let's go ahead and import this data into R. So I've gone ahead and opened up R Studio and R. The first option for importing data is to use the read.csv command. You can access the help menu by typing help and in brackets the name of the command you'd like help for, or by placing a question mark in front of the command name. Let's go ahead and import this data into R and save it in an object called data1. To do so, we'll use the read.csv command. The first argument to specify is the file. Normally, R would like us to specify the path to find the file here, but a handy command to know in R is the file.choose command. Rather than specifying the path to find this file, we can use the file.choose command, and this will result in a menu popping up allowing us to select the data file directly. The next argument that we should worry about is the header argument. We can set this equal to true using capital letters to let R know that the first row of our data set are variable names or headers. If the first row does not contain variable names, we would set this equal to false. It's also worth noting that we only need to provide a capital T and R will know this is true. We can then submit this command by hitting the enter or return key on our keyboard. We can now go and find this file, which we've saved on the desktop, our Excel data.csv. Select this file. And now if we type in the object's name, data1, we can see the entire data set returned to us. It looks like R has imported this data set correctly. We can also see in the workspace, this object data1, which has 10 observations on six variables. We could also import this data using the more generic read.table command. Let's demonstrate the use of this command and import the data into R and save it in an object called data2. Here we'll use the read.table command. Again, we'll use the file choose command. We'll set the header argument equal to true. And here we also need to use the sep argument, letting R know how the data values are separated. In quotations, we'll place a comma, letting R know these are comma-separated values. We can then submit this command, go on our desktop, select the Excel data.csv file, and when we type in the name of this object, again we can see the data has been imported correctly. Now, let's go back to our Excel file and look at importing data saved as a tab-delimited text file. Once again, you can see our Excel data file we can go ahead and save this file as a tab delimited text file. Here I will select the tab delimited file with a .txt extension. And we'll also add the word tab to the end of this file name so we can easily identify this as the tab delimited file. We can then save it. And now we can see this tab delimited text file saved on the desktop here. You'll notice if you double click on this file to open it, by default, it will be opened in a text editor. You can also notice these values are separated by tabs. 
let's go ahead and close this down. To open this file using Excel, we can right click, open with, and select Microsoft Excel. And now we'll see our tab delimited text file opened up in Excel. Now let's go back into our studio and import this data file. We can use the read.delim command in R to import a tab delimited text file. Let's go ahead and import this data set using the read.delim command and we'll save the data into an object called data3. We will use the read.delim command. As before, we'll use the file choose command so that we can select our file from a menu. We can set the header argument equal to true. Once we enter this command, we can go onto the desktop, open up our tab delimited text file. Again, if we enter the object name, we can see the data has been imported correctly. And finally, as we saw before, we could also use the more generic read.table command. Let's demonstrate this and save the data in an object called data4. We will use the read.table command. Again, file choose so that we can select our file. Header equal to true. And finally, we can set the sep argument equal to backslash t, letting R know this is a tab delimited file. We can go ahead and select the file. We can enter the data set's name to view it. And again, the data looks as it should. The next video in this series talks a bit more about importing data and then how to get started working with your data in R once you've imported it. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.